assalamu alaikum everyone today we will discuss about the trusses like what are trusses you may have seen such like structure and basic mostly inside the bridges so basically the first step is in order to design both the members and the connections of a truss it is first necessary to determine the force developed inside the each member when the tr truss is subjected to the given loading you can see that this can be the external loading basically the external loading is applied at the joints and these are the members of the truss and the force developed inside these members is either compression or tension this is basically two force members so each for each member can act as an axial force member and therefore the force acting and at the ends must be directed along the axis of the member if the force tends to elongate the member it will be tensile or if we'll try to compress then it will be obviously compression and the loadings are applied at the joints these cannot be applied at the middle and uh, we will neglect the weight of these members for our analysis so trusses basically can bear a lot of load inside the bridges these are mostly used for the civil engineering structures um, and there is a equation to determine whether a truss is a statically determinate or indeterminate that is b plus r is equal to 2j if it will satisfy this equation then it will be statically determinate what do you mean by statically determinate means we can be we will be able to solve that trust by using the forces of equilibrium that are sigma fx summation of forces in x direction is equal to zero summation of forces in y direction is zero and summation sum of moments is equal to zero what are these three things inside these this equation these b is basically the number of branches r is number uh, b is branches and r is reactions and j is joints now we will check whether this uh, equation apply on this stress or not basically we will first count the branches 1 2 3 4 5 so we have five branches and r basically the number of reactions reactions here basically pin support has two reactions we know for example these 1 2 3 3 there are three external reaction 5 plus 3 so here it is 8 and j is basically the joints now you have 1 2 3 and 4 joints Two fours are we know it is eight, so eight is equal to eight. So basically, this stress is statically determined. We can solve it by applying the equations of equilibrium. Now, if if the result of this equation B plus R are greater than two J, then it will be statically indeterminate. We would have to. follow some other methods to solve that type of truss and basically when at that will also depend upon its degree of indeterminacy for degree of indeterminacy you can see that can be checked by b plus r minus 2j so on depending upon that degree of indeterminacy we can we will make some assumptions for example if degree of indeterminacy is 1 there will be one assumption required to solve that truss if degree of indeterminacy is 2 then two assumptions will be required to solve that type of truss so it will depend upon that but if b plus r is less than 2j then truss will be unstable mean that it is its loading can be applied to the if truss then it will cause it to collapse there will be no insufficient member of bars or reaction to constrict all the joints so that truss will not be stable the two methods that are basically used to solve the trusses are method of joints and method of sections these are both selected depending upon the situation from which we can get the reactions and our solutions easily so we will be discussing in the next video how to solve for truss reactions and how to find the forces for example inside these members so thanks for watching the video